I'm Denise Scar with Story Creations, and this here is the adorable puppy, Kira, and we have the fabulous Joey. Today, we're going to present for you our story titled, Kira the Butterfly, a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was an adorable puppy named Kira. Kira was playing in the yard. She was turning around and sniffing. She was spinning. Kira was sniffing flowers. She was sniffing flowers and pawing at them. She even wanted to bite them. She sat pretty. She wanted that flower. But what Kira didn't know was that sleeping inside the flower was the queen of the fairies, Riona. <laughs> Riona woke up with a start. A cold, wet puppy nose was against her. Oh, I shall teach you to respect the queen of the fairies. How dare you wake up my sleep? <laughs> Kira, she just wanted to play, so she begged. She sat and she begged. <laughs> I know what I shall do. Mm -hmm. I shall teach you to respect by showing you what it's like to be small. With this kiss, mwah, 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 you shall become a butterfly. Riona blew her a kiss. And it landed on Kira's lips. Kira felt herself changing. She was twirling and twirling. She was spinning and spinning. She even came over here. She got down. Dun, da, da, da. She began to sit. She got down. She rolled over. She rolled over. And then, Kira, she fell down into a deep sleep. Kira woke up. She was now a butterfly. Kira spun around. She twirled and twirled. She spun this way. She was looking at her wings. She couldn't believe how fortunate she was. She was excited. She wanted to practice flying. Hop, and hop. Good girl. She was so excited she flew some more. And some more. Kira heard her name being called. Kira! Kira, where are you? Kira, where's my puppy? Kira! It was Kira's human. Kira's human called for her. But when she looked around, why, she only saw a butterfly. You're a very cute butterfly. But where's my Kira? Did I lose my puppy? Oh no! Kira danced for her. Kira sat, and as a little butterfly, she perched. But her human couldn't see her. Oh, no. I think I've lost my puppy. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll call on Joey. Joey's so smart, he'll be able to find her. He's a border collie. Joey sniffed the air. He began to look around and around. He was searching for Kira. He had heard that she was missing. His puppy was missing. He went forward and back and forward and back. He twirled and twirled. It was like he was following the path of a butterfly. He even began to jump and fly through the air. Hop up, whee! And he hopped up high, and he hopped up higher still. Woohoo! Then it was like the butterfly was flying faster. Joey realized then what had happened to Kira. 
She had met the fairies, and the fairies had turned her into a butterfly. <gasps> Joey, Joey fainted. Now as he fainted, he began to hear music. The music was harmonica music, and Joey knew what that meant. That meant the fairies were close by, and they were dancing as fairies like to always do. Joey wanted to help Kira, save her, rescue her. So he went to the fairies. There, Joey met Riona, the queen of the fairies. If you want to rescue your puppy, then you got to dance with me, Joey. Will you dance with me? All right, let's see what you got. They heard the music and they began to He came over here, he came over here, and then he line danced to the right, to the right, to the right, woo! And he line danced to the left, to the left, to the left, woo! And then he line danced to the right, to the right, to the right, woo! To the left, <laughs> to the left, 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 woo! He ran forward and back, back, and forward, forward, and back, back. Why, Joey was having fun. He even put in some break dance moves. He got down, and he rolled. And he got down, and he rolled. Why, Riona did her own moves. But that wasn't all. They weren't done. They were just getting started. They did.
the big long purple one. They both went in it, in the tunnel. Bum ba -da, ba -da, bum ba -da. Woo! One more time, cause it's so fun. Bum ba -da, ba -da, bum ba -da. But only one puppy came out. Was Kira lost again? Nope. She just wanted more treats. <laughs> the puppies were having fun. Kira came out. They had had a good day playing, but now they were getting tired. Kira was a puppy once more. Joey was happy. Annie made sure she didn't go around sniffing any flowers. If she did, Joey just played dead. And sometimes Kira would too. Okay, dead. share with you some puppy training tricks. It's always fun to train your puppy. The first thing to do though is to make sure that they know the basic commands. Sit, stay, down, and heel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> For this time I'm going to show you what she also knows. Um, it's always good to start your puppy training session on a positive note with a trick she does really well. Sit pretty. Oh, she's so good at that. Yeah. How about a high five? Oh, good high five. Just one paw. There you go. Good job. I always try to keep the puppy training sessions really positive. If your dog begins to struggle, change to something else. Do something different. And always end on a positive note, too. One thing that Kira was learning just recently was playing dead or fainting like Joey does. She learned it first by watching Joey. And this is how I taught her. So we went to a down. Then I have her almost roll and whoop, right here, stay, stay right there, steady, bulk it. Oh, <laughs> you roll over. We got, we got to be dramatic. Are you ready to be dramatic? And down, down, <laughs> and go halfway, right there, right there. That's good. You almost got it. Ooh, you did. Good. That was pretty good. You're going to do it. I like to do it one more time what I'm teaching. So we're going to go down and that's it. Perfect. You've got it. Good dead. Good dead. Oh, it's such a baby. <laughs> Should we do it one more? I think she's getting it. By next month, she'll be a pro. I always like to reinforce by teaching it a couple times a day. And now we're going to bring Joey out and he's going to demonstrate how to do the hula hoop. Sometimes it's nice to have an older dog teach the younger one new tricks. All right. First, they also like to twirl together, so we'll have them do that. Are you guys ready? And twirl. <laughs> and twirl. Good job. Good job. So the hula hoop is a very fun trick, and I love when Joey jumps to the hula hoop. So, Kara, he's going to show you first how he does the hula hoop. There you go. Stay. And Joey, hop. Woo! Joey, hop. Good boy. Were you watching, Kira? Did you watch him closely? Here, Kira, hop. Good! Kira, hop. <laughs> She's kind of jumping after the hula hoop. But let's try that one more time. Are you ready? Hop. <laughs> okay. Try this again. Are you ready? Hop. All right, you got hook. There we go. Up, up. Here, one more try. There you go. You've made it through. And Joey will show you one more time how it's really done. Hop. <laughs> Hop. You want to try? Hop. There. All right. Well, that's our dog training tip of the day. Please check out some fabulous books on dog training at your public library. 
They also have lots of fun fairy tales. And you can check out our YouTube page under Denise Gard, and that's spelled G-A-R-D. Plus, we have a great website that contains books, tips, um, a blog written by the dogs, lots of fun things. And that's under storycreations.org. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.